Hello, welcome to IQ World. I am Bill Kennedy, the IQ Service and Repair Supervisor, and today we are going to go over some basic stuff that you need to be doing to your rolling table. We've received calls uh, concerning the, the roll or the quality of the roll of the table itself. So, majority of the uh, concern is the bump that people experience when rolling the table. So normally they'll push it through about here and they'll experience a bump or going through. Okay, so what can cause that bump? One thing that can cause that bump is the locking device. The locking device may be, may be long, so as you can see, it may be protruding out a little bit and it's hitting that the hole where it goes through and it's causing it to basically bump a little bit. So that's the first thing I would check. Next thing to check is the rail on the right hand side. So, as you notice, the rail on the right hand side is a flat rail. So I would just run your finger across the leading edge, the top edge of the rail to see if you feel any bumps. Okay, and if you do, I recommend using a very fine file and just running it along the top surface to flatten out any irregularities. Routinely, what you should be doing with your IQ table is cleaning, cleaning. These do it. You gotta keep in mind you have upper and lower rollers on the table. The upper rollers ride on the upper side of the table up here. So any irregularities on this surface will also cause a bump. So I take scotch Bright and just kind of run it across nice and even. And then also on the rail itself, take the scotch Bright, run it across. You gotta keep in mind you're still in a construction environment, so you're still collecting dirt and whatnot as, as you do your work. So on occasion, every now and again, run scotch bright across the top and leading edges of the rails. And if you feel any irregular irregularities or indentation, again, take a file. Nice and even, straight across. Okay, so you should be doing this regularly. Okay, and the other thing is check the wheels on the rollers themselves. Take your Scotch Bright. Clean the wheels. Just kind of spin them, spin them on the Scotch Bright surface. Clean them up. Now, on these ones with the covers, what I do is I, I place it on the bottom edge where there's an opening, and then spin the wheel, and then that, that'll clean the surfaces as well. And then clean this, the leading edges of the wheel. Just kind of spin it every now and again. I mean, a small bump is going to feel like a huge mountain on this rolling table, you guys know this. So let's take a look at this wheel right here. So this wheel, you've got some buildup as you can see. You can see there. So again, take your scotch bright and roll it across. And then again, if you can see this, this wheel, you have some buildup. So on the bottom end, there's an opening. Press against that. Spin it to clean it, okay? Just like that. And that'll go a long way. And then on the uh, the wheels with the, the valleys, just fold your scotch bright in half, let it sit in the valley, spin the wheel, let it go, okay? So periodically check your, your tracks on the table, Check the wheels on the rolling table. Keep in mind, you have an upper and a lower track that the wheels ride on. Don't just clean the bottom side. You've also got a top end that you gotta, you gotta keep in mind. 
All right, so that's your daily or routine maintenance or cleaning that you should be performing on your 244 and 362 rolling tables. Thank you. Have a great day.